What's up guys, we're back. It's Friday, so you know what time it is. It's time for What The Fitness. Let's get them. But you know the drill. First, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment for the algorithm. And we have back on this week, probably the champion of What The Fitness, Gary Brecca. Let's see what he has to say about eating pizza and pasta and bread in Europe. Lose weight eating pasta and bread in Europe. Like eating a bowl of pasta and a basket of bread here, and you just feel like you want to go to sleep in your head mood. And then you go to Italy, and you have a fat bowl of pasta, or maybe even a glass of wine. You feel amazing. Why is that? Because in 1993, the chemical industry convinced the federal government we needed to... The, the chemical industry? Big chemical. Uh, somebody should tell the human biologist that everything's a chemical. Water is a chemical. But I digress. Spray our entire grain supply with folic acid. All flour, all bread, all pasta, all cereal. Although we don't call it sprayed with folic acid. We call it enriched. So enriched foods. Yeah, because folic acid is vitamin. Folic acid is a man-made chemical that we make in a laboratory. Oh my God. You so is every other freaking vitamin. Even if it's natural, it's still been made in a factory by chemists because that's how stuff gets produced, Gary. It does not exist naturally in Mother Nature. Oh my God. Folic acid doesn't exist naturally. Somebody hasn't had basic chemistry. Anybody ready for basic chemistry? Let me explain. Yeah, so folic acid is the man-made form of folate, okay? They're slightly different compounds. Now, actually, folate is less bioavailable than folic acid, but folate is the version that gets converted into 5-methyl tetrahydrofolate. You guys have probably heard that. Gary talks about it a lot. There are people with a lot of variants of the methylfolate transferase gene. Listen, folic acid can still increase this, but it just doesn't get converted to 5-MTHF at the same rate as the natural folate. Still does good stuff, just not at the same rate as folate. But it's easier to make, cheaper to produce, costs you less money. A big deal. Till you realize it's the most prevalent nutrient in the human diet. I'm not saying don't eat gra grains or rice or pasta. How are you, based on what, Gary? The most prevalent nutrient in the human diet it's present in like microgram amounts. There's probably hundreds, if not thousands of things that are more present in the human diet. Or cereals or bread. I'm saying eat the non-enriched versions of those. The, the cover of this is why you lose weight eating pizza in Europe. Apparently because it doesn't have folic acid in it. What? How is folic acid negatively impacting fat loss or causing fat gain? He never gives you an explanation as to why. Now, a lot of people, when they go over to Europe, they end up losing weight and they go, oh, it must be because the food's cleaner here. No, it's because everyone walks everywhere. People don't really drive cars as much over in Europe because it's not very practical because of the old streets and whatnot. So people take the train and they walk or they're on bikes. And most tourists are walking a lot. Correlation is not causation. It's because you're doing more activity. It's not because you're not having folic acid. Like via what mechanism, Gary? What mechanism would cause folic acid to make you lay down adipose tissue. I want to hear it. Cue crickets. 